Well, definitely the probiotics are the main thing because probiotics, uh, we often don't have probiotics are the good bacteria that live in our digestive tract and they help to break down the foods and keep the microbiome biome healthy in the gut. So that's the number one most important thing. And to tell if you're getting, patients always come and say they have a probiotic, but when I look at it, it turns out that it's not really a very good one. Um, so I always suggest it should be a dairy-free. Uh, it should be spore, S-P-O-R-E based, a spore based. And uh, the more um, units or the larger number of units in the uh, product, the better. And the more uh, differential of, of the different products that are in it, the better. So at least five, six, seven, eight products, and, but some of them can have eight, 10 or 12 products. That way you're getting more of a shotgun approach and hitting all different angles of the digestive tract. Um, so for other um, supplements that I like, um, I like to do, uh, of course, homeopathic medicine, but then there's also Chinese herbs. Um, we use herbs such as ginseng and cardamom. Um, any of the ginseng type Chinese herbs are very, very good. Ginseng and astragalus. Another one I use is called GI Care, um, which has um, a bunch of different products in it made to build up the digestive tract and actually heal the digestive tract. Uh, aloe is another good one. And then if we are going to do uh, homeopathic, uh, two of the most common ones that I use are Nux Vomica and Carbo Veg. They can help uh, heal the stomach lining. Um, but the best way to use homeopathy, of course, is to do constitutional, where we pick a homeopathic remedy that matches the broad range of symptoms rather than just targeting one individual symptom. Mm -hmm.